This is going to be a tough video because this video is going to cover a lot of ground. We're going to talk about books or other resources for learning mathematics and how to study mathematics more effectively. This video is a direct response to a subscriber email. I received an email here from a subscriber. I will leave her name out of it. And the subject is just math. So I'm gonna start this video by just briefly reading the email and then giving you some resources and suggestions for learning mathematics, things that will actually work. So if you're trying to learn math and you don't know where to start or you just feel lost or you're trying to get better at math, my hope is that this video will help you become better at mathematics. The subject is just math. And the message just says, hello, I've been following your YouTube account for a few years now, and it has been a real source of inspiration. I am currently studying software engineering, and while I have, and while I have always loved mathematics, I feel that my skills are not yet at the level I want them to be. I want to pursue a master's degree for AI, and I know that a strong mathematical foundation will be essential for this path. I would greatly appreciate it if you could recommend me some books or resources that would help me strengthen my understanding. If you have any advice on how to approach studying mathematics more effectively, I would be truly grateful. Thank you for your time. Okay, so I'm just gonna focus on a few topics in mathematics in this video because uh, this is a very tough question, right? We can spend um, a very long time talking about all the great math books and all of the great resources that are out there. <clears throat> so I'm going to focus the discussion on what you're gonna be doing, which is software engineering, and then you also want to pursue a master's degree for AI. So that means that you will definitely have to learn some calculus and some linear algebra and some differential equations. So we'll focus on that. So as far as resources, we all know there's YouTube, you can get, you can watch free videos. So let's aim for something more structured. So first I'd recommend a course. So if, if, if you're taking a course in college now, like calculus one, two or three or differential equations, I'd recommend getting an additional course. I have courses, you can check those out. The links are in the description. I've got courses on trig, calc one, calc two, calc three. Check out my courses. They're cheap, there's no, there's no mistakes. They're based on college level mathematics on my lecture notes and they're all correct, there's no mistakes. So check those out, links in the description uh, for those courses. They're on Udemy, but use my links please in the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com. As far as books for calculus, I'm gonna recommend, well, besides my books, I'm gonna recommend some other books. The book by Stewart, James Stewart, he was a Canadian mathematician, he died uh, several years ago. He's got a big thick book called Calculus. And that book is available in most countries and it's very inexpensive. I feel like every student should have a copy of that book, okay? It's, it's, it's got everything, okay? It's called Calculus. It was written by James Stewart. If you can't find that one inexpensively, the one by Larson is also good. It's also called Calculus, uh, another great book. Both of those books have enough content for Calc 1, 2, 3. And again, I'll leave links for all of these resources in the description of this video in case you wanna check them out. So the books by either Larson or by Calculus. You don't, you don't need both, just get one, one is enough. Um, if you have money and want to get both, get both. I mean, I have thousands of books. I collect books. So, but one of those books is good. As for linear algebra, for now, I would recommend the book by Anton, Howard Anton, or the book by Lay. But the Anton one is very good. It's very standard. So, like, if you take linear algebra, when you do take it, because you probably will, it will help you. Um, the content in that book goes very well with, what, with what's taught in a college level course. So very good. Same with Stuart. These are very standard books, right? And they have everything you'll need. You'll find more in those books than what is taught in a college level classroom, right? Because the teacher can't cover everything in the book. So get the book by Stuart or the one by Larson. Get the one by Anton for linear algebra. And I'm going to stick to just calculus and linear algebra. Uh, differential equations, if you want to learn that, Get the book by um, get the book by Zill. That one's pretty good. Or the one by Nagel, Saf, and Snyder. That's also pretty good. As for courses, I have courses for all of these things except linear algebra. Check those out. And then if you want to learn math a little bit faster, if you want to just start learning math quickly, 
You can check out my books. Um, they're basically workbooks. They're, they have no mistakes. For example, Superpower Calculus is a good one. Um, calculus Beta, Calculus Alpha, get all of them. Um, you know, I've got tons of math books. Links in the description, you can use those. And they all have full solutions to all the problems and they're cheap, they're not expensive, and they have problems. So you can start doing math because honestly, the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. That's what Paul Hamels used to say, and I agree. Uh, math is about doing, right? Doing math helps you learn math. So now that we've, we've talked about resources, again, the book by Stewart, the book by Larson for calculus, the book by Anton for linear algebra, and then check out my books, of course, and my courses. To study mathematics, you know, the, the most effective way is to do it every day at the same time, make it a routine, and actually solve math problems. That's why, that's why I like my books. Because even though like my books don't even compare to like the book by Larson or Stewart because they're small, they're workbooks, right? They're, they're good for learning. You'll actually learn faster with this book because you'll, you'll be able to sit down and start doing math right away. Whereas with those big, thick textbooks, you have to read, and there's nothing wrong with reading, right? But you get more depth from one of those books. Whereas these books, you, just, you start learning how to actually do calculus on day one. So my advice is get up a little bit earlier than you normally do every day, and then just do a little bit of math. You know, just solve some problems every day. Make it a habit, make it a routine, and you're gonna find that after a week, after a week of doing this, you're just gonna be so much better. You know, and honestly, any math that you learn on your own, any math is just going to make you just so much better, right? You're going to go to class and you're going to see that same mathematics being taught in the classroom, you know, in your, in your college level classes. And you're going to be like, OMG, I already know how to do this. You're just going to feel so good about yourself. And it's such a great feeling. It is such a great feeling to be in a classroom and like you already, you know what's being taught because you've taught yourself. I, I had that feeling uh, when I was in my programming classes. I taught myself how to code in C before going to college. So when I was in college, I was like, ah, oh, I know, I know what that is. I know what, I, I knew all the stuff about the C programming language that was taught in the class before it was taught. You know, so it's the same with mathematics. You know, you teach yourself mathematics. It's like, oh, I, I know, I know what a limit is. Oh, I know how to find the derivative, you know. So you can, you can learn pretty quickly that way. So that's my advice. Do math every day at the same time, early in the morning if you can. And I say early for a couple of reasons. One, when you wake up, your mind is fresh, you've rested. Um, two, uh, if your life is busy, which I'm sure it is, by getting up a little bit early every day, you're just making more time in your day. You're not, you're not cutting into anything else. And eventually it becomes a routine and you know, you're gonna feel good about yourself you know, if you, if you wake up in the morning and you have your coffee or your breakfast and you do a couple math problems and you walk out the door, you say, you know what? I've already kind of, I've, I've conquered the day today. I've, I've done some mathematics, you know? It makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you feel like you had a productive Monday. You had a productive Tuesday. You, ha you have a productive Wednesday. And then every day becomes a productive day. It's like a series of wins. And those little micro wins, that just builds self-confidence and it builds knowledge. Not only do you become stronger and more disciplined and more structured and more intelligent, but you actually learn mathematics, which, which is your goal, which is your question, right? How to learn math. So yeah, it's, it's life-changing. And building those habits too, it translates to other things. Maybe you want to get in shape one day and you start going to the gym every morning. So do it at the same time every day in the morning. Build structure, build discipline in your life. It makes you stronger for so many reasons and you'll actually learn mathematics. That is the best way to learn mathematics, right? In my opinion, just do a little bit every day. And it's, it's advice that one of my teachers gave me long ago. And I thought that's really good advice, but I didn't do it. Uh, and it took me years to follow his advice. And, and I finally do. And it's life changing. It can, it can really help you. So that was a lot of information. Hopefully this uh, has helped you and hopefully it's helped someone else uh, watching this video. If you have any advice uh, for this person, she's trying to learn math and she's, again, she's studying to be a software engineer, and she wants to uh, pursue a master's degree for AI. So any advice for her, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. As always, stay strong, my friends.